Hey guys, Francis here, and I have a few moves for you to help you open up your shoulders and your elbows. Do you ever wonder if there are some simple movements you can do on a regular basis to keep your shoulders and elbows happy and healthy? Well, here's a few moves that could help you out. Let's get ready. First thing you'll do is just make a comfortable seat. You can sit whatever way is comfortable for you. I'm gonna sit on a block and put my heels in the middle, shin bone on the floor, but you can sit whatever way feels comfortable. We'll start with just movements of the arms. You reach the arms like you're hugging a tree. Big round kind of energetic movement. And then bring the elbows in and back and down together. And then as though you're putting on big long white gloves, press your fingertips into those gloves and around that tree. And then come forward and up. And then open like you're pushing the air back behind you. So elbows back and down and open, up and forward and open, back and open and forward and open. Let's do two more like that. Lengthen the breath while you're here, right? Just moving a little bit through those arms. And now we'll start to circle the shoulders. This is exercise number two. So the first one, just first piece to her steward kind of just to warm up a little bit. So rolling the shoulders around to the back, roll them around to the front. Okay, so number one, we did our arm movements. Number two, shoulder rolls. Next one. Reach one, one arm across and give it a good pull. You can either keep the arm straight or you can bend the elbow. You could do both. See what feels comfortable. Big breath in. Big breath out. And big breath in. Big breath out. Let's come across. First, let's do first straight and then we'll bend. Okay, so we'll call this the same um, exercise. Just bring the arm across and then bend the elbow as you're ready. Big breath in. Big breath out, and big breath in, and big breath out. Next one, start with your arm up and bend your elbow. Bring your fingertips to pull that elbow to point more up. So you're getting a stretch into the triceps here as you effort for that elbow to reach to point up. Your hand will end up moving further down your back. Big breath in, big breath out. Again, big breath in, big breath out. Let's switch sides. So with arm up, bend the elbow and give it a pull. Big breath here, big breath out. Again, nice big breath in and nice big breath out. And then gently release. This next one might seem a little funny, but it's something maybe you did as a kid. You're gonna make the Batman mask. You're gonna make uh, the okay sign with your fingertips and then invert them and lift your elbows up. So you make that sort of eyeglasses out of your fingers. While you're here, what you're gonna do is press your elbows back, press your elbows back. So you have some rotation in your forearms. Press the elbows back, open up into this stretch and take a breath in. Breath out, breath in, breath out. I don't know about you, but I used to do this one so easily when I was a kid, and now it's gotten uh, more difficult to do this movement. So I'm uh, you know, coming to the hand position, but also then bringing those elbows back to open up. Then gently release. Okay, this next one in yoga, you might think of as eagle pose. So you'll bring your elbow uh, across toward the middle, and then one arm underneath and far, right? So this is eagle pose. What I wanna do is modify it a little bit so that we're gonna go into rotation a little bit more. So it's basically the same pose, eagle pose, right? But instead of going for the arms being straight up, I wanna tilt this front arm out to the side. So it's actually gonna be in a lateral rotation. And then I'm gonna come into that, I wanna think of the second arm as kind of like helping, right? That rotation a little bit. So helping with that rotation. If you want to do a little more, you might reach the fingers back a little bit. So big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, and big breath out. Let's gently release into the other side. All right, so um, remember we're rotating a little bit. Take that second arm, poke it around, and you're gonna help into that rotation and then move the arm out, maybe fingers back. If it's too much, then you don't go further. So big breath in again, big breath out, 
the effort for this uh, second hand to sort of help you into that rotation is going to make you more stretch. Okay, big breath in. Now, the, you know, some of these are pretty subtle. You're working into some of the rotator cuff muscles, uh, movements that you might not do on a regular basis. So, but you want to feel that nice opening. Notice how things feel from side to side. You might feel very different on one side than the other side. These next two, I'm going to do lying on a foam roller, but you could actually do them upright too. If you have a foam roller, you'll have a seat on one end, lie back so that your tail's on one end, your head is on the other. And we'll do this next one, I'm going to sort of combine two movements. So um, when I first learned this one, uh, someone told me this was called nerve glides. I, I was learning at the cane school. And so you'll take your fingertips and pull them away from each other and then open out to the side. Okay, so we're gonna move into a different movement for just the wrist, but palms pull together, fingers apart, and open out. Together up, open out. Together up, open out. I think the main part here is that the fingers are moving back. So we're gonna go into that a little more. So raise your hands up a little bit and flex both wrists so you go open, 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 open. So you're opening into that palm facing, palms facing away from each other instead of facing toward where your face is facing, okay? Next one we do is turn, uh, hold on to your thumbs, turn those palms to face down, and then as though you're trying to knock on the floor, right? Knock, 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 right? So it's the movement of the wrists that's helping. These, these couple of ones that we're doing here are meant to help uh, the nerves. Um, I just read recently that you could think of the nerves like a string going through a straw. So you're not actually stretching the nerve itself, but the, the connected tissue that it moves through. Now, sometimes it can kind of get stuck a little bit. And if you can mobilize that, you could feel a lot better. So a couple more times like this, just knocking back or down. Okay, now the next one will come off the roll, so slide your hips off. This one I think of Eric Schiffman when I do this one. Um, I remember learning uh, a variation on this standing. We'll do it seated though. So what you'll do is I'll turn sideways to show you guys this one. You'll have a seat, or you could do this standing if you want to, but the main thing is that you'll reach your arms back, interlace the fingers first, you push the, the fists down, but next you reach the fists back, okay? So your fists reach back and away as your breastbone reaches up and forward, okay? So down with the torso, the fists, up with the chest, and back, opening up, opening up, opening up. And let's do that a couple more times. Down and back, lift the chest, reach the arms back and down, open. Two more times, here we go, big breath here. Reach down and back, lift the chest, reach the arms back. One more time, belly firm for support, arms reach down. What you don't want to do is get a huge, big, big bow in the whole torso. Think of the breastbone reaching up and away from your hands and then also arms reaching back. So belly is firm here so that you don't go too much into your low back. And the more you can bring the heels of your hands toward each other, the more that will increase the stretch. Last but not, not least, we'll come back again to sit, whatever way is comfortable. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit on a chair, and we'll do ear to shoulder. Now, the top hand comes to your head, and the other hand comes to the small of your back. What I want you to do with the second arm is, is reach that shoulder down a little bit. So reach that shoulder down as you go into the stretch. Big breath right here. Big breath out. Again, big breath in, big breath out, one more, switch sides, down with the shoulder, side with the head, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. 
Exhale. Let's do one more nice breath right here. All right. So those are our 10 moves to help you open up into the shoulders and the elbows. Uh, I made this for you so that uh, you can feel better. And I really, really hope that you feel relief if you're feeling any discomfort in your elbows and your shoulders. Um, I really hope that it helps. So um, if you did like this video, um, make sure that you hit the like button below as it will help other people find this video on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell uh, below to be notified anytime a new video comes out. Um, be well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.